Hi everyone, Morgan from the Assist Agency, jumping on with today's tutorial. So this is a Monday.com tutorial all around project management. So in my demo workspace here, I've created basically, I guess a set of templates or boards that can be used for the uh, project management flow. And we're going to look in particular around high level and low level boards, meaning that we're going to have a board which is the portfolio management board which is a um, essentially a management level board where you can see all of the projects um, at one glance and their statuses timeline all of the essential pertinent information to that project um, in one view now it then uh, goes down further into the micro detail, which is the actual individual projects themselves. So you can see here in the portfolio uh, management board, we've got a high level or macro view of each project. And then each project itself has its own board in where we're seeing the actual individual steps of that project and the step-by-step -step activities and tasks um, that need to be done in order for that project to come to a close. So it starts in almost a flow formation where essentially the project request comes through. So this is the request board. We can see we have space for new requests, re um, requests under consideration and then approved projects. So the way that we have done this uh, or that we get the information for this board is to actually create a form. Now this form is intended to be an internal form for employees or subcontractors to use um, who are on monday.com but again you could do this as a public form for anyone to request anything which is why these use cases can can suit a multitude of different industries. This one in particular is just about project management specifically. So really awesome in these Monday forms is that we can pop in all of the information that we need and these questions are each related to a column in the main board so anything that's put into that form is going to automatically populate as a request and all of the information that we need is going to be in here so let's start let's pop in a project request we'll call it project Romeo request date is today initiator is myself again you could have team members listed here you could have um, just input for a name if they're not a member of monday.com and don't have a profile um, really customizable here um, project Romeo is about a strategic project for the assist agency you can upload files here, anything that you want there. You don't need to, but it's an option. We're going to say the priority is medium, project type is strategic. Now these here is just a rating scale of 1 to 10 about the alignment and benefit um, to the company. So we're just going to pop in 10s across the board. And submit that form. Form has been submitted and we can see here on the main table that it has automatically come through to our new requests. Now all the information that we put into that form is here and you can see that we have a project score which is basically a formula column which takes the average of all of these columns. Now this has automatically come in through automation as a new request and you can see there's a space here for the approved budget. So if I was the person who has been notified that a new request has come in, I could say that this is being moved to under consideration with automation. So if you give it a moment, you'll see that it'll pop into the under consideration group and uh, you could have somebody be notified, whatever automation you want in that place. So let's say that we're going to approve this request and give them a budget of $5,000. We're going to change this status to approved and a few things will happen. So through our automations, you'll see it has popped over into the approved 
group, it has automatically uh, connected Project Romeo to the Portfolio Management Board, again, all through automation. And it's changed the approval or rejection date, in this case, and it's an approval to today. So the way that this works now is that is connected this to the Portfolio Management Board. And if we pop in here, again, this is our high level board, you'll see that it's now popped it into upcoming projects. So this will sit here until whoever has been um, notified that this is now in their upcoming projects is ready to start. We can see it's pulled through the allocated budget, but there's no other information in there just yet other than the project type. So we could assign a project manager and we're ready to start this project. So we would change this to in progress. Now you'll see another few things happen with automation here. Just a moment. All right, so you'll see that it's popped down to the active projects and you'll also see that in a moment, there we go. So we have an automation on this board which allocates that when a status is moved to in progress or an active project, we create its own portfolio board automatically from a template. Now this is the project template and this is what each of these uh, project boards have will populate with. Now this template here is really awesome in that it shows you, I guess, the capability of these boards. Now we have set this template up specifically that it's gonna capture the start and end date the duration in days, which is automatically calculated, the baseline of where uh, we thought we were going to start and end, and then the difference in days. You can see also here that we've set up the dependencies. So we've already have this set up that your first task has to be completed um, before the second start second task can commence and so on and so forth. So for example, in the initiation and planning stage, if we say that the start date is actually now September 12th to the 21st, we'll see that this automatically changes to September 22nd for activity two. So this is automatically calibrated that the dependency or the start date of this task is dependent on the end date of the previous task. So it just means that throughout the whole project timeline, the start and end dates are calculated and kept current as a like for any uh, delays or changes, or if you finish early, it's all gonna be set up automatically that these are gonna change for you. So we can see uh, the initiation milestone or the finishing date of the initiation stage is the trigger for the next step, which is design. So it's all dependent on the finishing date of the previous step. Again, we can see here that we've got the, um, some more uh, information here per step and it's all in there. So a really cool thing with this is that, as we said, the high level board is the portfolio management board, which is an overview of all of the activities in here. And then your actual boards themselves are that low level micro detail of the day to day of each of these um, projects. Now, a few steps here, once we've created the um, project board is that we just need to do a couple of things just to make sure that everything here is now going to be linked to your overall high level or uh, manager view board so that they can see everything that's going on here. So what we want to do is just control A, which means that we're grabbing all of these activities here. And all we need to do is just pop down to the portfolio management column. So this here is a connection column, which connects the boards of this project Romeo board to the main board. So we can see here that all the active projects are here. This one is Project Romeo. So we wanna make sure that all of the tasks associated to this are going to be linked with Project Romeo. So that's going to just make sure and update all of those items that they are automatically linked. You'll see if we come back to the Portfolio Management Board, now that the Project Links tab, which is the other connected column in this board, now has 
all of our activities. And as we update and change things, it will all pull through. So just to make sure that any further tasks that come onto this board, if you added more, if you um, changed anything, what we want to do is just put in your item default values. So this is all of our columns at a look. And we just want to change the portfolio management board. So anything further that comes into this board, it's going to automatically be synced with Project Romeo. So it just saves you having to do that manually every time. Now you can see here any changes that we make. So say we consider this step done and now we're working on the next step. If we update any of our data, so let's say we want to, we planned that this was going to take five hours. It actually took 10. The budget for this particular step was $150 and the cost was a hundred off overall. The cost type was labor and you can see it's automatically still allocated to Project Romeo. If we pop to our high level board, you'll see that it's now input that detail in here. So the, this is the overall project uh, progress and we can see that tiny little bit's been done, one out of 24 tasks and it also gives you the status. So one out of 24 is working on it, one out of 24 is done. It has input all of our timelines as well. So this is the total project timeline of all of those tasks. And this planned effort will be updated as we go along. You can see here, this was our overall budget that we were given, the cost so far, the percentage of budget that we've spent, now, just to finalize that link, this is the link to our project requests and, re and approvals. So you can see we had a link here to the portfolio management board on this end. So we're just going to solidify that link in this one here. And then we just want to link it on this side as well. So we're just linking that to the approved requests in Project Romeo, meaning that we can go in and anything that needs to change on this end for the project requests and approvals, we can change it here. We can change anything on this end in this board as well. And we can change anything on here. It just means that you don't need to go from board to board um, and it all automatically syncs both ways. Now, the, the way that these high level, low level boards work is that they're actually just mirroring information from one to the other. So as I said in the previous um, video, anything with an eye on here is generally showing that you're linking items from other boards. So the project timeline, the baseline timeline, the planned effort and actual effort, these columns are mirrored from the actual project board, which are these ones here. So we're just mirroring the information on this board to the main board, which means that any changes that are made in these projects are all going to reflect here, which means that high level or macro view of the project can be seen in one spot and it's continuously updated. So as we move through, these will all continue to change. So if we just do one more example, say this one we now consider as done and we're working on the next step. We're going to change the planned effort to 20 hours for this step. It actually took 15. The budget was $500 and we spent 350. And it was a management cost. So you can see here as well with automations just on that previous steps that it's automatically popped in our completion date, our status as well. So that's just really cool on that end. Now, if we pop into the portfolio management, we'll see that this is now updated, that we've got two statuses as, as done, one status as working on it. It's updated our overall effort, our planned and actual effort. Our budget is still in there as normal. It's updated our costs and the percentage of the budget spent. So this will all continue to update in real time as we work through those projects. 
So I think that's all that I have to show today. In part two of this video, I'm going to also put in our dashboard views, which basically is um, reporting and, and status updates in um, visual form with chart, Gantt charts, um, timeline views, workload management views, all really awesome uh, things that obviously we want to keep for any kind of project management um, to help us track our progress overall. So we'll pop that into the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.